Hi guys, this is Julia. Today in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a Windows 10 virtual machine, which I know some of you guys have been actually requesting to see this video because not everyone knows how to create one. And besides, because since Windows 10 is the newest version, you want to have Windows 10 on a virtual machine because it'd be kind of cool. So pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to download either a virtual box or you're going to download VMware Player. I have Workstation, but that'll work too. Um, so I already have a VM made of Windows 10, but I'm going to create another one. And I, I know this looks weird because I have a custom theme installed on my computer called Arc, if you want to look it up. So I recommend using 32-bit Windows 10 on a virtual machine because it'll run a lot faster. Um, unless your computer, my computer can probably handle um, a 64-bit machine, but 32-bit would run better. So I'm just going to call this Windows 10 2 because it's, it's the second one. As far as the memory goes, you're going to want to have... Depends on what your computer is. Mine's 12 gigs, so I'm just going to put 3. But if your computer is like 4 gigs, maybe 1, 1.5 one to 2. Depends on how much stuff you have running. Maybe close some stuff first. Because if you give too much RAM to the VM, it will lock up your computer. Um, you want to create the virtual hard disk. Sorry, this is hard to read. And then you're going to just leave that the same and dynamically allocated. And then, depends on your hard drive space, as I said, I don't know how much I have. I have 72 gigs, so... Um, that means I can do, like, any- I'm just gonna do 40. I mean, I'm not gonna- it, it, it's not gonna use that much, besides, it only uses it if you actually end up using that much. So, go to create. And you see you have this, and you think, oh, I can just start the VM. Well, wrong. You have to have a Windows ISO to boot to. If you can't boot to an ISO, this is what your VM is going to do. No bootable media found, system halted. So, you're going to have to download a Windows 10 ISO, which I'll show you where we can get one. So, I'm going to look up Windows 10 ISO. Um, you could download one from Microsoft. You could create installation media with the media creation tool, but I think if you don't want to use that to download an ISO, I think you can actually download an ISO. Um, or not. Did Microsoft change it? Um, well, I think they changed it. You have to have the media creation tool. Um... Well, because you, you say you want ISO, which will save the ISO, which is what we want to use. Um, let's see. This isn't telling us. Yeah, we're going to have to do the media creation tool. Um, well, I guess Microsoft changed it. Um, I already have an instance of it running right now. So, I don't think I can really use it right now. But as what you would do is when it says, um, when you say create installation media for another PC or whatever, you, instead of USB drive, you click ISO file, and it will save as an ISO file, and, and it'll start downloading it, and you have to tell it though where you want to save it, and just save it to the, wherever you want to save it, it doesn't really matter. And then after it saves, you'll be able to put it in the VM to install it, but because that isn't working, I'm going to go to another website where I get ISO, just getintopc.com. So, well, this is really far back. Let's go to page number one. So, here we go. Windows 10 Pro. But this is x64, I think. So, we don't want x64 in a VM, so let's keep going. Okay, download Windows 10 all-in-one x86 ISO. That'll work. So, I'm just going to download this for now. It's got all these versions, even Windows 10 Cloud, um, which really is actually Windows 10 S. So, I'm going to push download. I'm just downloading from here since I already have an instance of media creation tool running and it's not downloading an ISO, so it's not going to really help us with this. 
because I already have it running. But you guys, I recommend using that because it works good and it gets it directly from Microsoft. This is just through another website, which they have other ISOs for other Windows versions as well. It's pretty much where I get all my ISOs from. So, all right. It's, there we go. Oh, Pnei on Windows, that's funny. I don't know why it does that, but it's like lagging. It, we should see a download pop up in this corner. There we go. Oh, it's 2.6 2 gigabytes, I think. I'm not sure how long that's gonna take to download. It says four hours, three hours, two hours, one hour. Well, it looks like it's not gonna take all that long. The time is going way down. So this should not really take long to download. So yeah, look, look at this, how it just goes down. It looks like it's gonna take like 15 minutes to me. So I guess I'll come back in 15 minutes when this is downloaded and I'll show you how to install it. All right guys, so we got it downloaded after like, yeah, about 15 minutes. So now we're gonna open VirtualBox again. And I'm just gonna ignore that. We're, I'm gonna go to the settings and I'm gonna go to storage, click empty, click this button, choose disk image. And then I downloaded it where it downloads. And then we're going to start the VM and I'm going to show you guys how to install it. It's just like a normal Windows installation. This looks a little different because it's custom. That's why I recommend downloading it from Microsoft. Next, install now. I would have shown you how to do that, but I have an instance running and you can't when there's an instance running already. And I'm just going to do home this time because I have Pro installed on another VM. Note that it won't activate probably because your thing won't activate. so since it requires a license, so you may have a watermark on your thing or something like that, but it's just a VM, so yeah. You can see it's installing. I just went to custom. I installed an unallocated space and it's going to just go ahead and install the VM. You're just going to let it sit and let it install. So you can see it's installing right now. So I'll just pause the video and come back. Or let's just time lapse it. Now, do not push a key when this comes up. You don't want to do that because then you'll boot right back in the installation setup. So just let it do its thing now. Okay, so now it says just a moment. Oh god, Cortana. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. It's talking. I'm a little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. I don't like you can this. use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the sound icon. I'll let it see if you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to enable narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Yeah, it's about time. Your region is set to uni- Okay. Click yes, just go through the setup like it's a computer. Your keyboard is set to- Do you also type- Alright, you're connected. Now, we'll check for any updates. So it sounds like a robot. Type your email address or phone number, then follow the instructions code. to sign in. You just click create, and you tell it you don't want one. Let's get an account going for you. You can use your own email address, or we can help you create a new one. Well, I 
don't want to, but it looks like you have to have a Microsoft account, guys. So I might have to just enter. Type your email address or phone number, then follow oh, the instructions. Oh, offline account. Oh. Okay. You're about to set up an offline account, but I wanted to make sure you know Windows works way better with a Microsoft account. No, do you want to do that instead? No. Type what you want to name your account. Now you can name it. I'm just gonna name it Patchy Julia because why not? Okay, now type. I don't want a password on a VM. Hey, look! No it's Cortana. I don't like it. These are the settings Microsoft like recommends. Go ahead and review them and be. select accept when you're ready. I'm I'm turning all those settings off because yeah. Okay, that's the last step. We need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out! How about no, Cortana? <laughs> I just had to say that. Seriously though, I, I, I disabled Cortana on my computer. It's legit disabled. Oh, that's part of the media creation tool on my host. Just ignore that. Oh, hi, we're getting everything ready for you. This might take several minutes. Oh, Microsoft. Well. We want everything to be ready for you. That's very nice, Microsoft. Of course it wants us to everything to be ready. Let's start. And now there's more steps, because you can see this looks all messed up and it's sluggish. You have to install something. So you're going to go to your devices, and you're going to go to Insert Guest Edition CD Image. You're going to go to this PC, and you're going to install the VirtualBox Guest Editions, so your screen doesn't look weird. So you're going to go to Next, Next, Install. and then click install on this. And then you're gonna restart. No oh, glitch right there. And then soon it should adjust the screen size to the VM window. Once it logs in, give it a minute. It, it takes it a second on the first one. There we go. You see the wallpaper looks a little weird, but I, I don't think I can change it because it's not activated, so... Pretty much, this is our Windows 10 VM. You could do things such as install stuff on it. If you're gonna run viruses on it, make sure you have shared folders disabled, which it should be by default. There is no shared folders. And if you really wanna be safe, disable the network adapter. Go to Preferences, Network. Well, I don't think I can do it while the VM started. You have to do it when the VM isn't started, but I'll show you. You might want to do things though, like update the VM and stuff. Just like that, because some of them may or may not come updated, and then later on they'll actually become unupdated. The ISOs will get old. You can see it's not activated, obviously expected, it's a VM. And, yeah, Windows 10 Home I installed on this VM, the 32-bit version, because it actually doesn't run too bad. And I recommend doing these updates first, because otherwise it'll try to update in the background, and then it'll slow down. So just every patch Tuesday, second Tuesday of every month, check your virtual machine and your actual computer for updates as well in the settings, update, and security. And then this will start downloading them. And then your VM won't lag, because it won't be 
doing it in the background, which is why I suggest do it right now. So pretty much that's how you do it. I would show you the network thing, but I don't want to shut this down in little of an update because that's not good, but you'd go back to VirtualBox, go to your settings, here we go, go to network and then right here uncheck that box and click OK and your internet should be disabled. So if you want to, then if you want to use um, drag and drop, you can enable it host to guest and you can drag stuff in the VM, any files. Uh, shared clipboard, you can also do host to guest or guest the host. So you can either copy something in the VM or take something in the VM and copy it to your host. So pretty much guys, that's how you make a Windows 10 VM. Any other Windows is pretty much the same. Just change the version saying you're going to do Windows 7. Just change it to Windows 7 or create one that says Windows 7 and then download a Windows 7 ISO. Recommend for other Windows that isn't 10. Well, 8, you can also use the media creation tool actually and download an ISO, but if it's 7, I think you're gonna have to download it from Get Into PC or if it's an older version like XP or anything like that. So, yeah. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. Hopefully this helped you guys out on making a virtual machine if you didn't know already. And any video suggestions, leave them in the comments because I'm going to start making some more videos now that summer is right around the corner. So whatever you guys want to see on this channel, just let me know in the comments. Anyways, that's it. Have fun with your VM.